before we dive into where you had it done, uh, I remember in our conversation, you told me that uh, one of your real good friends is a dentist. Yeah. Did he do it? Yeah, no, he did not do that. Um, yeah, I had told you that story. Really, uh, really, you're a great friend of mine, known him for several silver years, is, is a dentist. He's been in practice for over 30 years and a uh, uh, real sweetheart of a guy. I mean, obviously, I had bad teeth. He's a dentist. He knew. He, he knew how bad they were, more, more than I did. Right. You know, just he could tell. Right. Um, and I was too embarrassed to even let my dentist friend mm. look in my mouth, who's probably seen everything. Yeah. But it was just, uh, you know, kind of that, that shame and that embarrassment. Mm. Uh, and uh, he understood that, I think, quietly, because we really never discussed it. I would ask him, you know, off questions about, well, you know, just minor dental type things, mm -hmm. you know. But uh, I finally got to a point where I, I thought, well, maybe maybe I can speak to him and maybe this is something that he could take on or at least uh, at least uh, recommend someone uh, for this procedure. Um, and uh, he, he, he really encouraged me to find uh, a practice that did everything in-house um, from, you know, making the the, the denture to you know well just everything in house much more convenient more consistent as you can imagine you know everyone's there speaking to one another mm -hmm. at a at a moment's notice and you're not going to different parts of town for different appointments it's all done in one spot so that was very attractive or it seemed very smart to me to find a practice like that <laughs> 